Hi, and welcome to Episode 4 of the Estate Planning Academy. I'm your host, Gary DeWitt, and this is the Internet's most passionate show about estate planning. Today's topic is guardianship. In guardianship, the guardian is the person who will be in charge. The ward is the person needing help or the person who is mentally incapacitated. A guardianship is the legal process of giving somebody else the legal authority to make some or all of your decisions. It's making somebody else responsible for your care and decisions if you are unable to make your own. It requires process and a hearing. Guardianships are awarded for people that have dementia or Alzheimer's disease, medical incidents such as heart attack, stroke, coma, or vegetative states, accidents or violence leading to a change in ability to make decisions like head trauma, coma, or vegetative state, people with special needs, those people who were born without the capacity to make their own legal, financial, and health care decisions, and those with addictions like drugs and alcohol, which can reduce the capacity to make good decisions. The process for guardianship is first, the person that wants to be guardian petitions the court. They must provide the proof. Typically, a report or an affidavit from a doctor will suffice. If the ward doesn't voluntarily cooperate, the court can order a mental evaluation. The guardian must show up for a mandatory hearing in court. The ward has the right to show up, ask questions, and defend themselves. If the guardianship is awarded, the guardian is given an order and letter showing that the court has given them the authority to make the ward's decisions. And the guardian must give an annual report to the court. The guardian must make sure the ward is taken care of, gets to make the financial decisions, legal decisions, and health care decisions of the ward. And finally, they need to make sure the ward's needs are taken care of. In Arkansas, the qualifications for the guardian are that they are over 18, not a guardian of more than five people, not an unpardoned felon, and have the capacity to be a guardian. To avoid guardianship, you can always use a durable power of attorney, which we will cover in a later session.